Does anybody know how to make a shelter? Oh, me! Me! I brought my tent! Watch this! There we go! Whoa. It's got five bedrooms, a bathroom, a television and even a cellar! Oh, it's amazing! The best tent in the world! We can't sleep in that! Why not? What's wrong with being comfortable when you're on holiday? This is an adventure, not a holiday! We'll make a shelter out of two twigs and a leaf. You lean the twigs up like this and, hey presto, what have you got? Two twigs and a leaf. Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. Like, uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra! Wow! We're at the top of a real mountain. Fantastic! Now, how are we going to get home? Easy! Our magic is home! Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Are we nearly there yet? No, Holly. We have to go past the roots of the plants, the drains, the giant spider caves. It's a long way to the centre of the earth. So how many steps do we have to go down? 48 million trillion thousand. Oh, no. My feet are tired already. That's why I got the dwarves to put a lift in. Doors opening. Hold tight, everyone. The lift does go rather fast. Doors closing. Going down. Yeah! Oh, my tummy! This is fun! Brilliant! Centre of the Earth. Doors opening. Here we are, the centre of the Earth. It's a huge cave. It's full of trees and giant mushrooms. Yep, that's how it was on telly. Well, one thing that's not here, dinosaurs. <laughs> There's one. Oh. See? The telly is always right. But now that we're here, how do we find Mrs Fotheringill? Gaston can sniff Mrs Fotheringill's shoes and find her. Brilliant, Ben. <laughs> Find Mrs. Fotheringill. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. <laughs> I wonder where we'll find the Lost Tribe. Lost Tribe? What nonsense. Whoa, look at that. A Lost Tribe. Told you. They're elves and fairies, just like us. Halt. Who journeys through our land? We come from the surface of the mighty Earth. We welcome you, surface dwellers. We thank you, O oh Lord of the Underground. Nanny, why are they speaking in that funny way? That's how they speak on telly. We bid you greetings. Uh, actually, we've come to get Mrs Fotheringill. Ah, the one we call Teacher. Flying saucer to Planet Bong. Holiday, here we come. Um, it's not really a holiday. We must leave. Hold tight, everyone. It can be bumpy. What do you mean, bumpy? <laughs> ah! What's happening? Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh, ooh. Ow! <gasps> Look at 
out all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold, the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilet? What if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach? Yes. It is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, <coughs> delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No, it can make anything in the universe, but not jelly, which is a shame because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Ah! Jelly plant! Oh! <laughs> it doesn't like being sat on. No, th that's the problem with walking chairs. And also, I've been doing some gardening. Gardening? That sounds relatively safe. I asked myself, why should a tulip have leaves? Why not hands or even feet? And I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs. I asked myself, why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten or twenty-three? Oh, that's enough, dear. They don't care about your silly old hobbies. Yes, I'm forgetting myself. It's your party, darling, and I've arranged a fantastic surprise. What's the surprise? I dread to think. To the top of the tower! <laughs> Granny Thistle loves looking at the stars. Oh, yes. Stars are very pretty. So I asked myself, why do we have to look at the stars from down here? Why not up there in the sky? <laughs> wow! The tower's turned into a rocket. Aren't the stars beautiful? Granny. They certainly are, darling. Very nice. Uh, Dad, how do you land this thing? No idea, son. This is magic. I don't have to know what I'm doing. I may not know much about magic, but I do know how to land a rocket. Look, we're back home. Oh. Hmm. This way, then. <laughs> All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert. Snail alert. <laughs> Cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables! Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! Wow! 
What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, ho, ho, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! yes. Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. I am so bored. Do try and relax, darling. I can't. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. It is for me. I relax by being very busy. Maybe I'll explore the island. I could work out how big it is. Do you think there'll be anyone else on the island? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Footsteps. <gasps> so something does live here. Yes, a wild beast. Let's follow its tracks and find it. All right, but we must take care. The wild beast might be dangerous. The tracks lead to this bush. There's something in there. The wild beast. <laughs> it's Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here? <laughs> What's that? You hid in the plane, swam ashore when we weren't looking, and hid in the bushes, you say? <laughs> Clever Gaston. But I thought I said no pets. Gaston could be useful, Dad. Gaston, we need food. Can you find some? <laughs> <laughs> Gaston's good at sniffing out food. <gasps> A coconut! It's huge! Yes, enough food and drink to last us for weeks. Well done, Gaston. Stand clear! Hooray! You know, this holiday isn't so bad after all. I shall call this place Elf Island. Ben and Holly have been gone for ages. I do miss them. Me too. Oh, what's that? It's a message in a bottle. <gasps> it's from Ben. It says, trapped on a desert island, Dad bored, please rescue. Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it... A block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh. Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie, catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin. <laughs> to you, Ben. Oh, I threw it too far. Don't worry. I've got it. Ooh. Wow. You can run really fast. And jump really high. That's because I'm an elf. Uh, ben. I mean, that's because I keep fit. Uh. <laughs> Holly, can you run fast? No, but I can fly. Holly, remember, you can't really fly. Oh, yes. I can do magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic tricks. Show us a trick, then. Are you sure you can do magic, Holly? Of course. Are you really sure? Yes. Hikers, pikers. Wow! Holly, you'll give away that we're not normal big people. Oh, sorry. That's an amazing trick. 
How is it done? <laughs> is it a trick ball? Uh, it's a secret. A magician never gives away their secrets. Ooh. Ooh. Lucy, home time. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. Oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <laughs> Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with Wandy? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old one's never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. Wandy! Hooray! Oh, Wandy, I'm so glad to see you. Now, let's get down from this tower. Yes, indeed. Phew! I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? Oh, no. There's loads. Millions and millions. Most of them bigger than me. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for end of holiday. OK. Let's go and see if your flying saucer is mended. Ah, just in time. I've mended the flying saucer. Well done, wise old elf. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing. And elves are good at plumbing. Thank you. I will now start the engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say elf skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> aliens. Oh, aliens. Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please. <laughs> Dear Lucy, everyone knows aliens don't exist. Hello, Lucy. Hi, Ben and Holly. The aliens have to fly back to their planet. They just wanted to say hello to your parents. Hello, big people. We have just been here on our holidays. Miss Cookie, there's an elf and a fairy walking across my desk. Quick, pretend to be toys. What a pretty fairy doll. And a handsome elf. Are they yours as well, Lucy? Yes, Miss Cookie. I think I'll put these toys in the drawer as well. 
What are you two doing here? We tried to get your wand, but a boy saw us. Did you pretend to be toys? Yes, no. Nanny. Good. Well, I think we've been very clever so far. No one knows we're not toys. But we're shut in the teacher's drawer. And we haven't got our wands. Yes. I think we'll have to call for a little help. Elf Rescue! Hello? Well, if it isn't Nanny Plum, let me guess. The big children have seen you, you've lost your wand, and you've been locked in a cupboard. No, you've got it all wrong. We've been locked in a drawer. Oh, all right. I suppose I'd better rescue you. Elf Helicopter is go! I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy! Psst, Lucy! Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother! Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah! That's not a molehill. That's Gaston's house. <laughs> Gaston, they're going to flatten your house. Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. You can come and live with me in the little castle. I'll put the cow shed over there. Oh, no. The cow shed will be right on top of my little castle. Don't worry, Holly. You and Gaston can come and stay with me in the great elf tree. And I'll put the cow manure over by those trees. Oh, that's where the elf tree is. What's manure? Cow poo! Oh, maybe I won't stay at the great elf tree. Thanks anyway, Ben. I'd better start building the fence. Psst! Lucy! Lucy! Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Your dad is putting his cows right where we live. Yes, isn't it terrible? You have to tell him to stop. OK, I'll tell him that elves and fairies live here. No, no! Big people must never know we live here. But I'm a big person and I know you're special. What can we do then? Let's ask the wise old elf. He'll know what to do. He's old. He's wise. And, and he's, he's an, an elf. elf. <laughs> what was that? Shush, we've got to be quiet. OK, let's go and tell the wise old elf about the cows. Cows in the meadow? We'll have to tell the farmer that he can't put his cows here. No, no. We must never talk to big people. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, big people. Nice to see you again. Oh, Hello, Lucy. I thought you said we should never talk to big people. Well, that's apart from Lucy, of course. Lucy is nice. Glue, paint, brushes and glitter. Oh, goody. First, I have to put a mat down so that we don't get glue on the floor. Yes. And we must wear aprons to keep our clothes clean. <laughs> now what? We stick the pieces together with glue, like this. One, two, three. There, it's stuck. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. There, it's mended. Hooray! Hmm, it doesn't look quite right. Uh, we can paint it. Yes. 
That's better. Hmm. It had flowers on it too. I'm good at painting flowers. There. But I think he was a bit more sparkly. We can use glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I love glitter. It's so glittery. <laughs> there. Hooray! Do you think your mum might see the difference? Uh, yes. Maybe it just needs more glitter. No, Ben. We tried to mend it, but it didn't work. We'll just have to ask Nanny Plum for a spell. All right, let's go to Nanny. Da la la dee da 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 da. There's Nanny. Go on, ask her for a spell. It takes time to catch a fish. I've caught a fish. Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most gigantic-est fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. He ate Hilda? It sounds horrid. It was. So you built Bunty to replace Hilda? No. First, there was Doris. Then Peggy. There was Abigail, Fifi and Trixabel. Not forgetting Sabrina, Vicky and Miss Boo Boo. Barry ate them all. <gasps> I tried to catch Barry so many times. Hmm, that's confusing. Roses are large. And the sky is big. But how do you mix them together? It can't be done. It's silly. That's why it's a riddle, me lovely. It's a puzzle you have to solve. The roses are red and the sky is blue. Mix them together and you get purple. It must be buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good, very clever. Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves! Dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, 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 dig. Dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, dig. Oh, what's that? It's another map. That's right. You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Ugh. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> 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 Hello, Gaston. <laughs> we think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? I the riddle. I'm easily spotted. And where I lay, you'll find the clue 
to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <coughs> Gaston has spots on his back. Oh, it's so pretty. Look! Where? What is it? It's Redbeard's boat. Fine, Neptune, you're right. Well spotted, Ben. Oh, for a moment, I thought you'd seen Big Bad Barry. Ho ho! <laughs> now I can get me treasure back. Let's get it and go. I don't like it down here. I love it. All the fish and the flowers and that big underwater cloud. You don't get underwater clouds, me hearty. Shiver me timbers! It's a fish! It's so big! It looks bad. Is it Barry? It is. It's big, bad. Barry. He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh dear, he's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr. Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr. Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr. Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy. What a pong. Where are we? Look, me ship. There. Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Sissel, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the two of hearts. Your card is the two of hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousey, mousey! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the wands in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, <laughs> Actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magic the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about make me a birthday card super duper quick? <laughs> <laughs> it worked! Come on, silly paintbrushes! Hurry up! I have a 
haven't got all day. Right. You naughty paintbrushes. I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam, pop, zip, pow. More, bigger, faster, now. There's your tea, Your Majesty. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Mummy! Help! Help! Goodness me! Mummy! Make the magic stop! Thunder and lightning, north winds blow! Magic spell, away you go! Nanny, you stopped it. Yes, but I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle. Oh. Oof. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! Run, Ben! Ah! I've got very sensitive ears. Barnaby Elf is the winner. Hooray! Oh, no! Ben's come last. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> Oh, we'll make an elf of you yet, Holly. Can we build a castle big enough for us to go inside? <laughs> we need a huge bucket to make a sandcastle that big. Uh, like that one. That's a very huge bucket. It must have been left by big children. There aren't any big people here now. Good thing. Big people have big feet and you never know where they're going to step. Look, they've left some spades. Let's build a big sandcastle for Princess Holly. It can be our thank you for lunch. Good idea, Mr Elf. Can I help? No, no, no. Please just relax and enjoy watching elves doing what elves do best. What do elves do best? Elves are best at making things. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs>
Heave ho, heave ho, dig ho, dig dig ho, dig 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 dig. Heave ho, heave ho, over you go, over you go. Princess Holly, would you do the honors by tapping the bucket? <laughs> I'll soon sort that out. Ah, there's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle, this is fun. Oh, a spider! <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. Ho, 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 ho. Happy Elf Joke Day! Oh, ho, 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 ho. <gasps> Mr Elf! I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. Oh, oh. Hello, Princess Holly. Are you having a merry Elf Joke Day? <laughs> yes. I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> to the elf truck. <laughs> No, no, Princess Holly. A joke should be a surprise. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, I'm really busy. Who can that be? Hello. What do you want? Hello. What do you want? What? What? Why are you copying everything I say? <laughs> Why are you copying everything I say? Oh. I haven't got time for this. <laughs> I haven't got time for this. Silly old fool. Silly old fool. Oh. I don't think Nanny found that funny. I thought you said she liked jokes. She does. Let's try another one. Very well. I don't feel like playing games today. What nonsense. You love playing games. Have fun! I wish those cakes didn't take so long to bake. Me too. I suppose we might as well try playing a game. OK. How about tag? I like tag. All right. But you must play fair. No magic. OK. You're it. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> You're running too fast. I can't help it. Elves are good at running fast and I'm an elf. It's not fair. Fairies can't run as fast as elves. OK, I'll hop on one leg. Can't catch me! <laughs> You're still going too fast. OK, I'll stand still. Got you! <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Can't catch me. <laughs> I'm going to catch you. No, you're not. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> That's cheating. We said no magic. I'm not using magic. I'm just flapping my fairy wings. 
<laughs> it's not fair. Elves don't have wings. I'll never catch you. All right. I won't use my wings. Got you! <laughs> <laughs> Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> she's got wings. <laughs> wow, she's a butterfly. Betty, butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're all flying together. She looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <coughs> yee <-haw! laughs> Daddy says frogs belong in water. So, let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Won't be needing that door. Bye bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, splash. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. <laughs> Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. Shoo. Uh. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. Hoopla! 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 Here we are, the pond. Well done. No! Don't open that door! Hang on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all of the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. Hello! My wings don't work! 
We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <coughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready. <coughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to what? Oh, no. We can't reach Nanny Plum. Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough. Oh, no. Lost in space. And I never even went to the toilet. Here's your lasso, Ben. Thanks, Dad. Keep still. I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you. Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf, honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! <laughs> Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> In a castle, Lucy. Come and see. Wow, a real fairy castle. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Baby Dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum. It's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <laughs> This 
is heavy. All together, push. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Mum, it's me, Ben. Oh, Ben, you sound different. Yes, we need a bit of help. Please come quick. Right-o. She's on her way. Thank goodness. I wonder what the matter can be. <laughs> Baby Plum is lots of fun. Please. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hello, Poppy. Can you tell me where the big children are? We're down here. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spell on us. And we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yes, the twins are a little high-spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh. Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today. So I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes. It's the law, because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. What shall we do all day? Uh, play games! Yes, you've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly! Don't go to bed till the fire is out and don't go to bed with a carrot on your head. <laughs> That's silly. Ben, Holly, you get in the tent and go to sleep. Mr Gnome, you have to go home. But we're having fun. Elf camping is not meant to be fun. Bedtime is at six o'clock, not the middle of the night. Oh, I know a song about the middle of the night. Would you like to hear it? No! no! I'll take that as a yes. In the middle of the night, the stars twinkle bright. Rinky dinky doo, rinky diddly dee, dooby dooby doo, dibbly dibbly dee. <laughs> All together now. Rinky dinky doo, rinky diddly dee, dooby dooby doo, dibbly dibbly dee. Time for bed. It was lovely meeting you, Mr. Gnome, but now. We need to get some sleep. Oh, yes. A good night's sleep is very important. Rinky dinky do, rinky diddly dee, dooby dooby do, dibbly dibbly dee. Rinky dinky do. Stop! Would you like?
like me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs> Mr Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. <laughs> oh, a mole. <laughs> oh, it's eating our washing. Shoo. This monkey is over a hundred years old. <laughs> and this clown is over 200 years old. <laughs> Apparently, they were made at the elf factory by someone called the wise old elf. We know the wise old elf. <gasps> you know the wise old elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairground ride. But sadly, it's broken. Don't worry, I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch! These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. There, it's mended. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> there, it stopped. I wanted to go again. Oh, yes, again, again, again. More, more, more. Okay. King and Queen Marigold's castle isn't boring at all. Yes, actually, it's quite fun, isn't it? Choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs>